Are you caught up on the new season of You? It's not too late to jump in, but I'll warn you. This season four is... I believe that this is more for those already invested in the series. Now, you started off uh, on Lifetime, believe it or not, and Netflix bought it. Um, And I think that was a good idea because there was so much. I mean, this is such a well-developed series, and I just don't think Lifetime could have handled it. So... Uh, Since season two, Netflix has had it. We're on season four, and it's split into 10 episodes with five already released, and then the next part, part two, will be released on March 9th. This is a really good series. Penn Badgley is so amazing. He's so perfect in this role, and uh, he's a great actor, But what I love about it is his inner thoughts. We're listening to and following the inner thoughts and the consciousness of a serial killer um, who falls madly in love with these random strangers that he ends up stalking. And his Penn Badgley's facial expressions really sell, uh, sell the story and really sell that he's a psychopath he's so great in this role this particular season at least this part one um i just don't know if someone who hasn't seen the other three seasons can easily jump in because there are some callbacks to uh the other seasons but this is such a um this is a lot different than This is a different direction than the other seasons because the other seasons, um, he was like falling in love and this time he is committed to not falling for anyone. So he has killed on the East Coast and the West Coast in New York and in California. But here now he has followed uh, someone he thought he loved to uh, France really, to Europe. And then to escape her because she could dive him out, he goes to London. He assumes this new identity uh, because he is being extorted. Um, So he assumes this new identity. He's this professor and now goes by the name of Jonathan. Um, And he just so happens to fall into this uh, crowd of elite snobby Ivy Leaguers who are boozing and getting high and have no honest bone in their body, really. And he um, just accidentally falls into their clutches. Uh, Well, one day they're partying really hard. And Jonathan, his new name, he's really Joe Goldberg, is taken home. And when he awakens the next morning, he finds one of the elite dead on his table, stabbed to death and he doesn't have a memory. The interesting thing is because he's a serial killer and didn't particularly like this person, he thinks for a minute that he did it. (laughs) And for the longest time, we think he might have too and just doesn't remember. Um, But then as he starts uh, peeling back the events of that night and learning more about this crowd of elite snobs, um, he realizes that any of them could have done it and so he tries to find out who it was because he fears that they are framing him for this murder so i love especially with the ether rich narrative right now in a lot of uh movies and um tv shows really and you know this re re-emerging or this newer renaissance of agatha christie mysteries I think uh, that this was a good turn. I like that the series took this turn and sent Joe abroad as a fish out of water. Um, And he works so well in it. Again, what the magic of this series is Joe Goldberg's inner thoughts and his consciousness playing out as he learns, as, as he reads the crowd and reads people and reads his next victim. That's what really makes this great. 
these five episodes, it is so easy to watch. It's so good. Again, Penn Badgley is really good in this role. It's very easy to watch, but I just don't know if someone just jumping in now should start here. It might be better to start with the other. And once you see season one, you're going to be hooked. It's so well done. Season two, you're in. You're just not going to stop. You're just going to binge the entire series once you get into season two. But it's a really good series. I highly recommend uh, this series. If you, um, if you like mysteries, if you like Agatha Christie, or if you like, you know, the Dexters, <laughs> the Dexters. And, I mean, all of the like serial killery type uh, series or movies. I think you really, really like this. It's not too late to jump in, but I do recommend that you re you start with season season one, uh, and then I mean you'll re and then be prepared for March 9th when the second half of this series of this season drops uh, on Netflix. Again, it's so good, it's so good. Uh, but you is available to stream on Netflix now. 